Hello, this is Steph. Today we're going to see how to record your screen using FMPEG. Uh, so we're going to see uh, uh, FMPEG in another uh, angulation. We're going to see uh, how to produce an output before we, we went to see how to convert an input into an output. Uh, so we always had the input. Now we're going to see how to produce uh, the output ourselves. We're going to record the screen that we are seeing at the moment. So uh, Ubuntu is already behind me. Later, we're going to see how to work with Windows. And at the moment, let's get started. Okay, here we have uh, FMPEG ready. Let's invoke it and let's see how to record the screen. So here we have uh, First of all, the video size to be put. Here I know that uh, my video size uh, will be, uh, be set with the flag video underscore size. And my screen is 2560 by 1440. Here if you would like to increase, decrease, uh, so it depends on the resolution of your screen. If you put a smaller size, um, it will take uh, the crop version. So it will crop your screen up to that uh, uh, resolution. If this is bigger than your screen resolution, you'll get an error. So if it doesn't work, it means that uh, my screen is uh, smaller than uh, the resolution that uh, I just put. Then uh, the, the other thing they would like to put is uh, the um, frame rate. So the frame rate is uh, to be set with uh, this flag minus frame rate without uh, underscores, without uh, anything in the middle. And here we got to put uh, an amount of frames per second we would like to put. Uh, here I put 30, I could be lower. Um, here I'm working with a virtual machine, so there is a drop in the frames uh, maybe. So up to you, uh, up to your tech specs. So make some tries, if you see some drops, uh, decrease. But I know that uh, maybe it will get too low, but it's up to you. Then, uh, we got to put uh, minus F, that is uh, the format of the of our input. So everything that we put before the minus I will be uh, set. So all the settings for the input uh, stream. So uh, here the uh, format is X11 grab. This is uh, the graphical grabbing of the screen, let's say, out of a Linux system. Then minus I. And uh, um, here the input will be the display. The display usually is set in this way. So before the colon, we need to put the host name. So in this case, uh, the host name is the local uh, screen. So here we got to set uh, uh, so nothing before the colon. Then uh, we got to put the display name, that in this case, in my case is zero, dot, screen name the screen name is zero even in this case then you got to put a plus and here you got to put the offset so where to start recording so what is the top left corner of the things you would like to record in this case uh, i would like to record from the top left so zero comma zero and then you got to put in the end the name of the output file so here it is uh, on my uh videos folder the usual folder we always put and then our output so output.mkb here you see that it starts recording um, if there are frames drop the software will tell you and uh, if you want to finish your um your uh, recording you can type q and you have uh, your video that is uh, finalized so in the end uh, we have our video so if you want to open the output this is uh, the output as you can see so it is uh, at 30 frames per second and uh, good as we did it now the problem might be what is the display that you're using at this moment so before we set all the common we set the resolution and everything and we get for granted that we have uh, the display zero and uh, the screen number zero 
but how can we get the information about uh, um, your screen and your display? We have a program already installed on Windows that is uh, X DPY info and that will tell all the information about uh, your screens, your display, etc. There's a bit of output, the output is a bit long, so I suggest to put uh, either a more or less before. So here you can scan the first lines. And what we're interested of is the name of the display. So this is uh, the one that we would like. So this is uh, the information that we require for the next uh, screen wrap. Okay, cool. At the top here, we have uh, a Firefox window. What we would like to do is, if we would like to record what we are doing on this window, we might have, we might want some information about the size of this window and the offset this window is. So how can we grab this information? You can grab this information by using another program uh, here on Linux that is X Win Info. You grab X Win Info. The software already tells to select a window you would like to record, and the window is this. And here you have uh, the information about the uh, width and height and then uh, the corners. Here we would like to take uh, the top left corner. So if we take uh, FMPEG, we take uh, the video size that is the one that we grab here. Video size uh, plus 278 by 682. Then the frame rate. Well, let's try. I would like to dare 60 frames per second. And let's see, there will be for sure some drops. Um, then uh, we got to get the minus F X11 graph, like before. Then uh, the minus I. We know that our display is 0, 0.0 plus the offset. So here we have 1,281, comma. 49 so the x is a uh, horizontal the y is vertical and finally we have the name of the file so here we have uh, okay, the videos and here let's say firefox dot .kb you would like uh, you can also get uh, another type of codec but uh, i'm fine with the settings that uh, uh, they put so that the FMPEG puts by default and uh, let's go so it starts sorry but uh, to select the right folder sorry for that guys so CD okay and here we got the comment so here it records so let's say we like to record take a uh, uh, staff here and make the research and see everything so here we go just to promote my instagram channel and here we can as soon as the page loads we can take the the thing The page takes uh, a little while, maybe because uh, I'm uh, busy with some other things. Here we go, we have, okay, the disclaimer. In the end, uh, there is my page. Okay, cool. So I can stop my video. I can also stop Firefox and so now I can enjoy my video I know for sure that the, the frame rate will never be 60 but I try to do uh, that let's see the input of the video and so it tries uh, to put the 60 fps but i'm sure there are some droppings
And here we go. So not bad. You see also that there is the cursor recorded. So it's a good, uh, it's a good thing. What I wanted. And uh, I'm fully satisfied. Okay, we can proceed. Okay, so here um, we are on Windows, and uh, the command for Windows here we have we are a bit uh, let's say more limited. For example, if you have multiple screens, it doesn't work correctly. But uh, one of the servers that you can use uh, is a uh, uh, so-called GDI Grab. So here the um, the options are like the ones that we said before. We don't put the video size because there is uh, the minus i that will tell that we want to record the whole screen. So here we have uh, MPEG uh, minus frame rate. In this case, uh, well, let's say 30 again. Minus, uh, I, minus F uh, GDI grab. So um, this is a. Uh, it is in Windows uh, as uh, X11 is uh, for Linux. And then minus I desktop. So that's it. Did record the whole screen. I repeat that uh, this requires uh, only a single screen. If you have multiple screens, uh, it seems it is recording something, but the output will be uh, total garbage. Uh, this is the folder where we want to output our video. So I'm going to take this. And uh, this is our desktop output dot mkv. This is uh, the video file I would like to generate. So here I can take down this thing. I can, uh, well, do something, open something. I open, I don't know, Brave. Then I close it. I use something else. I open video studio code here we go and then we close and i think it's the moment to, to stop recording we stop recording by typing q and then in the video output we have our output so we open it with for example dlc and you have the whole output already available here i'm not doing anything so it is doing everything by itself. And here we go. Okay, so here you would like to take a crop version, so only a small portion. The only thing that we have to do is to set the video size and the offset. Now let's see how to put uh, both of them. And uh, this can be, again, the common FMPEG. Um, we put uh, straight away the type of uh, grabbing, so that's the GDI grab using the minus F flag. Um, we put the frame rate, so we are okay also with uh, this parameter. Let's put that 30. And uh, minus I, no, let's put before the um, video size. This can be put as we did on Linux, so minus video underscore size. And let's say 1024 by 678. So a small video. This is the same resolution as we had before, 2560 by 1440. It would take a smaller uh, portion. And then I'm going to take uh, the offset. The offset can be set by setting minus offset underscore X. And here let's say uh, I got to take a negative number uh, because uh, now I have a screen on my right. So I got to take a shift on the left. So this is a minus, let's say, 1500. And uh, minus offset uh, Y. In this case, uh, we take a positive number because the top is uh, the tip of my screen. And so let's say... Um, and minus i desktop and the name of the file that I would like to set. In this case, uh, I have my folder ready. This is a uh, propped, propped capture dot mkv. And let's see what it grabs. So I'm going to take, pick up the windows up and down just to check that everything is uh, working. 
and then I'm typing Q to close uh, the capture and let's see what's the output. So here you see, okay, I grabbed a piece a bit on the uh, right, so more or less this part right here, but I see that uh, the thing has gone correctly. Cool. Sometimes setting the right offset and the right size of windows, especially on windows, can be complicated. There is the, no program that can help us like uh, uh, what we had on windows. So the thing that we can do is uh, to use the GDI grab, but uh, we are using something a bit uh, uh, cool that can work sometimes. So here we have FMPEG, we use a GDI grab as our uh, format. Then uh, we're going to set the frame rate, frame rate well, to uh, 30, let's say, uh, not so high for the moment. Then minus I, instead of putting desktop, we put the title of the window. In this case, uh, I'm taking Audacity. And so I've got to put Audacity between uh, quotes. This is the name of the window. Then in the capture, we put uh, the name of the output file. So this is uh, Audacity capture dot uh, MKV. And uh, here we go. We are recording, so here you can set some of the options and uh, record maybe, hello, 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 hello. And uh, then we can stop. Now let's see how is the output of the video. I don't expect the output of the video as brilliant as the one that I have uh, on Linux. In fact, GDI grab uh, is something that is working but uh, needs some improvement. In fact, uh, there would be some other improvement. Uh, there is uh, another framework that can work on modern Windows system. We're, going, we're not going to see in this video. In fact, you see that now there is something not so brilliant as we expect. But anyway, it's something. I repeat that there is the offset that can work. So here we are more or less at the half of the window. We can take more or less of the, of the window or you take, can take something more. So in the end, uh, uh, you can crop later. So uh, I make you uh, the link here, the card to the um, filter. And uh, that's it. That's all uh, that I would like to say about windows and capturing. Okay, so now we saw how to record the whole screen in Linux, how to record the whole screen in Windows, how to record a specific window, and uh, um, so some tips and tricks on uh, how to um, use a FMPEG to also screen record. We overlooked some of the things like uh, um, dealing with the audio. That's a thing that we can do in another video because the thing that has to be set in a certain way sometimes it doesn't work it depends on the uh, server they have installed in your system so i would like to make uh, uh, this for another uh, video so for the moment uh, if you're right at this point thanks for watching and uh, uh, follow my social media so uh, instagram and uh, tiktok uh, thank you very much again and see you next time for some other content dealing with multimedia and much much more thank you very much and bye ciao